more than 60% of entrepreneurs struggle with lead generation. How to find new leads on a daily basis and much more important, at what cost? Fortunately, you can get hundreds of new leads for free by scraping Google Maps with Octopus. Just imagine one second, you and I, we probably have got a Google Map app on our phone. It's just like having millions of leads inside our very pocket. If you discover this channel, you can download Octopus by checking the link in the info box. My name is Francois and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we are going to scrape hair salon in Washington DC. I start by copying my URL and I paste it in Octopus. The very first thing I need to do is actually to change some settings. First, I click on the browse mode and I click on I accept. Now it's better because we have access to the website. Just let me change the language for you. Language, English. There is also another thing I strongly suggest you is to change the timeout from 20 seconds to 120 seconds and then you click on apply. Basically, it will help you to load the website entirely. Now, to save what you have just done, we go to options and we will save the cookies. Use cookies and use cookie from the current page. Same thing, I click on apply. Now we need to analyze what the website looks like. We need to scrape as many leads as possible. That makes sense. So, I've got the results from 1 to 20 on this page. I also want to have access to the result 21 to 40, 41 to 60, 61 to 80, and so on. So, I need to click on the button next in order to have access to the following pages. So, in other words, we need to create pagination. I turn off the browse mode and I click on the next page button. I click on it and look, click single image. As you can see now we just go from the result 1 to 20 to 21 to 40. So it seems it works. I just need to change some settings. So I go to options and I will set up an Ajax timeout of 10 seconds and I click on apply. The waiting time in web scraping is just paramount, so don't hesitate to set up a high timeout. Now, just a piece of advice. I know that some of you might have some trouble with the pagination. If it is the case, if it doesn't work for you, you may need to change the XPath. In that case, you click on the pagination, you delete the current XPath, the matching XPath, and you copy paste this one, like the button contains area label and stuff. I paste it and I click on apply. Now let's make a test. I click on pagination, I click on click to the pagination and it works fine. So far, we have access to all the pages in Google Maps. Now we need to have access to all the items from all the pages. So we need to create a loop item, but Google map is really a special case with loop item. Here is how we will proceed. We turn off the browse mode and we click on the first item of the first page. I click on it and I click on click URL. Same thing as before, I go to options, I uncheck open in a new tab and I set up an Ajax timeout of 10 seconds and I click on apply. To okay, I agree with you, it's not obvious, but now we can create our loop item. Because look, this is a first item, this is a second item, this is a third item, and if we click on the kind of next page button, we can have access to the fourth item, to the fifth, to the sixth, to the seventh, and so on, and so on. So we should have access to around 20 elements. 
So to create a loop item, I select the block of the first element, then I select the block of the second element, and here it is. 20 elements have been selected. I click and loop click each element, and the same thing as before, you know, load with Ajax, 10 seconds, and apply. This is the fun part now, because we can extract all the data you need. For instance, I want to extract the title, the company name. I can extract the number of reviews, the rating, the category, the address, the website, the phone number, and the opening hours. Actually, the opening hours is a bit tricky. Just select a random text for now, and we will modify all of these afterwards. This is pretty good for now, but this is not over yet, because some people are too eager to run their task right away. But you have to know that Google is actually pretty strict with web scraping. No, okay, I lie. Google is really strict with web scraping. And this is why, in order to scrape our data safely, we need to modify the XPath for each column. So don't worry, actually all of the XPath are written just here. You just need to copy and paste it. Let's make an example for the company name. I copy the related XPath. I click on more. Customize XPath, I delete the current one and I paste the new one and I click on apply. And I do the same process for the reviews, the ratings, the category and so on. I copy and paste the new one and I click on apply and so on and so on. Okay, I've just changed every XPath but one. And look, actually the opening hours is much, much better now because we have access to the entire table. I just keep the phone numbers XPath and change for now because I actually want to show you how to modify, how to write your own XPath. Of course, for now, the easiest way for you is to copy and paste this XPath. But I want you to understand what is the process to write your own XPath because it will truly help you sooner or later. So to write your own XPath, we will go to Google Maps, right click, inspect, and I'm going to select the HTML code related to the phone numbers. Here it is. Right click, copy, copy element, and you just need to paste the result in a Word file. And here it is. It could look pretty impressive if it's the first time you faced something like this, but it needs not be. You know, the final process, the final XPath, should look like this. The name of the tag with the name and the content of the text. Of course, there is no one right way to write an XPath. There are multiple ways and you will notice it in a minute. The only thing you need to do is to identify the tag, the name and the text. The tag is always located at the beginning of the HTML code. So here it is the word button. So I type button. Contains and the name. The name is earlier label. The name is always what is before the equal character. So I copy and I replace the name by alial label. And the text, it is the word phone. So I copy the word phone, I paste it. And here is your XPath. And if you just compare the XPath I've just written with the XPath which seems correct, you can see that it's 
pretty different, but it doesn't matter because both XPaths works the same. Just to verify if the XPaths are correct, I click on XPath Helper, which is actually a really useful Chrome extension. I paste the first XPath and it's written null. Okay, it's because there is a space here and there it is. It's related to the phone number. So my XPath is correct and the second XPath should be correct too, as you can see. Basically, you just need to copy and paste one or the other to click more customize this path to delete the first one and paste the new one. The process is almost over. We just need to do one last thing. We need to click on the back button. Well, usually we don't do this step, but as I've said earlier, Google Map is a really special case. So we click on the back button and click image and same thing as before. Options, load with Ajax, 10 seconds, and we click on apply. But this time, we need to drag the click item outside the loop item, and the click to paginate, I haven't seen that before, but we need to drag the click to paginate just at the end of our workflow. Congratulations, your task is over. You just need to save what you have done and to run your task. Okay, I just want to show you if the process works. So here is a website. We click on the first element. We just need to wait a little bit. We just create the first item. Just let's take a look. Everything works fine and it goes for and goes to the second item and not to the third item and so on and so on. Here is the result. We've got around 300 lines. Actually, we've got 285 lines because we've got 15 duplicates. I just need to export data, remove duplicates and to save the result. And here is what the final result should look like. Hope my video got your confusion cleared away. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos regarding Octopus and web scraping. We will always keep you updated.